So today we are at the Emerson School in Denver's Capitol Hill neighborhood. This is a school that was built in 1885 when Capitol Hill was a booming neighborhood. This is an historic school that is now our office as well as an office for other nonprofit organizations. When we took ownership of the building, we wanted to make the kind of investment that could create a, an attractive office space, but also one that could operate efficiently and lower our carbon footprint. We evaluated a number of options and ended up settling on a ground source geothermal system. And so we wanted to take advantage of this uh, technology to create a stable environment. Through a system of pipes that are underneath our parking lot, we're drawing on that constant 55 to 60 degree temperature in the earth. And then that Water is drawn into the building. It serves a series of cassettes that are in each of our spaces that heat and cool the tenant spaces. And I think our tenants feel very comfortable uh, in the very coldest days of the winter and in the warm summers that we often have here in Denver. The thing about that work is it actually didn't add greatly to the cost of the project. It was an incremental uh, cost that we felt was worth it because it allowed us to reduce our energy load and reduce our energy costs enough that we felt we could have it pay back. So now we have a system here after about 10 years of operation or so, it's pretty much already paid for itself. And we've got at least another 40 years to go. And we also wanted to do this in a way that we felt could be an example, could be replicable in other historic buildings, tightening the exterior envelope, restoring and repairing all of the historic windows, adding interior storm windows in some cases, and then taking advantage of some of the passive design features of the original building, opening up transom windows that have been covered up, um, making uh, the building more open so that it could be uh, more readily ventilated. And that's allowed us to really reduce energy use and the carbon footprint uh, but do that in a way that fits really well with this older building. This system is one that is efficient, it's reliable, and it's investment in the long term.